you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here as you can tell by the title of this video today's video is going to be a get ready with me New Year's Eve style I will be doing the berry toned look that I am currently wearing I've been loving this look lately I've been wearing it a lot actually I just decided to film it for you guys you can get ready with me for New Year's Eve because that is today so if you'd like to see how I did this look and what products I use and whatnot then just keep watching so to prime I'm just gonna use the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer that I always use. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that everywhere. Oh, hello. This is Nina. Wanna say hi? <laughs> no, okay, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to get ready here. So yeah, that's Nina. She's back. While we're on the whole priming thing, we're gonna prime my eyes. Um, I'm using the Body Drop All-in-One Insta Blur Eye thing. It's the only eye primer I have at the moment, so. I actually don't really even like this stuff, but like I said, it's the only one I have right now. Uh, so we're just gonna put that all over here. So as always, I'm going to start with my eyes. It's just easier that way for me because I'm really messy. So we're going to hop right into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to be taking this shade right here. Um, Buon Fresco? Sure. Something like that. And we're just going to pop that in my crease. Tell me, please, but you know that I Still in the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm just going to go into Love Letter, which is this like pink color here. And I'm just gonna kind of put that all over my bottom lid. <laughs> Now's the fun part. So I'm just gonna go into this little blink and boxy charm um, electric eyes palette. And let me show you this. This is so pretty. So I'm sure you can guess I'm going to be taking this berry shade here and I'm just going to use my finger because it works much better. Like literally, look how pigmented this is. It's ridiculous. Now I'm just going to put this right over top of the love letter shade I just did. See, I told you I was messy. I know it looks like really intense right now, but I promise it's not gonna look this crazy when I'm done. <laughs> We're just gonna go back in and blend that all out. Now we're going back into Modern Renaissance and we're going to take Red Orca right here. I'm just going to put this in my outer corner and a little bit into the crease. And now we're going to go back into that blonde fresco shade one more time just to kind of buff it all out a little more. Make it a little less harsh and crazy looking. See, it's looking less and less crazy with every step. We're gonna take a little break from the eyes right now and do our face. As usual, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty foundation because I love this. It is like magic. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get myself a new face. My arm is tired. Now for concealer, we're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm in the shade Fair. Likewise, we're just gonna slap this all over my face because I need a lot of concealing. And under here, because I always get red there. And down the nose, and the chin, and a little bit up here. Good to go. And we're just gonna blend that all out with a damp beauty blender, you know the drill. This concealer is way too light for me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Now we need to set all that, of course, and I'll be using the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Airbrushing Loose Powder. Very long name. To be honest, I'm not really sure if I like this powder. I ran out of my other powder, and I was too poor to buy the good stuff again. So I bought this, 
but I honestly don't think I'm crazy about it. First of all, I think the name is very deceiving. I don't think it's an airbrushing powder at all. Always gotta make sure you really set those smile lines, you feel me? I feel like I set my powder really weird, like, I use this little brush to do like my chin, my nose, and like that whole area, and then I take a fluffy brush to do like my cheeks and my forehead. I don't know why I do that. I think I just feel like this small brush packs the powder in more, so for areas like my nose and under my eyes where I like really need the setting, you know, I just feel like this does a better job. First of all, I need to put some lip chap on because it is cold as heck and dry as heck outside. Seriously, like my hands are so rough and so dry right now. I was at work yesterday and I do like wedding setups and stuff and I had to go in and out of the cold all day and I wasn't wearing mitts because I am not smart. Now my hands are, they literally feel like a man who like works in like construction or something and has really rough hands and it's disgusting. Also don't mind this ugly little bandaid on my finger because I also cut myself at work yesterday. I literally like sliced my finger with a knife and there was blood everywhere. It like actually looked like a murder scene. I had to I was at a hotel doing a setup and it was like one of our like fanciest hotels in the city too. It started bleeding like just a little bit when I cut it and then all of a sudden it just like poured blood. So I ran to the bathroom with my finger in my hand and probably left a trail along the way and then I bled all over their bathroom and um yeah. But anyway back to the face. We're gonna do eyebrows now because I don't have any currently. You know, fun fact, I've actually never gotten my eyebrows done. I've never like got them waxed or anything like that. I'm just gonna brush them out. So we're just gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. Super mediocre. That's just about as good as they're gonna get. Now we're just gonna go finish up the eyes back into this baby. I'm just gonna take the shade of Vermeer, which is this one right here, and we're just gonna use that for a brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go back into Blonde Fresco one last time and just put it on my uh, lower lash line, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into the Tardis Pro palette and I'm gonna just take the shade Punk, which is just the black color in it. I'm just gonna line my eyelids a little bit, uh, nothing too intense. Okay, so I've kind of lost a little bit of the Shimmer Berry shade, so I'm just gonna go back into the Blink palette and just put a tiny little bit more on. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm just gonna put some mascara on. I'm dog slash house sitting right now. And I'm also in the process of moving, so a lot of my stuff is packed up, so I did not bring any lashes with me. Otherwise, I definitely would've put them on for this look, but I don't have any with me, so. We're just gonna use the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I actually really like this. So I'm just gonna put this on both my top and bottom lashes, and I will be right back. Now we're just gonna finish up the face, and then we are done. So as always, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for contouring. Yeah. So I'm just taking the banana shade and the lightest shade and mixing them together. And we're gonna put that under my eyes. And then we're just gonna go right into the medium contour shade. For blush today, I'm just gonna be using the Studio Makeup, what is this called? Luminous Loose Blush. Um, there is no shade color. It's just this one, I guess. I always make sure to like extra tap off my brush when I'm doing blush, just because um, I don't like a lot, I don't like intense blush, so. I always make sure there's like barely anything on my brush because I'm. it's very easy to go overboard with blush. So like even that is like too much for me. And now for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlight palette today because I love this. 
Okay, so I usually use a Morphe fan brush to do my highlight, but um, I seem to have forgotten it. So, we're just gonna have to make do. We're just gonna use the same brush that I used for my powder because uh, it's kind of all I have right now. I think I'm gonna use Kitty Cat today, which is like this pinkish shade up here. Okay, yeah, I don't like this. Definitely not a fan of this brush for highlight, that's for sure. For lips, I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite liquid lipstick that I own. This is the Sephora, blah, 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 what is this even called? I don't even know. Uh, cream Lip Stain. I believe it's in the shade Marvelous Mauve, I think is the name of it. I could be wrong, it doesn't, uh, doesn't say on here. So, that's what we're gonna go with, Marvelous Mauve. And the last step, of course, is a setting spray. I'm using the Project Beauty Spray Set Go, which I'm not that big of a fan of, but it's the only one I brought, because like I said, the rest of my makeup is packed up, ready to move. So that is the end of today's video. Hope you had fun getting ready together. Uh, that was really cheesy. I'm just gonna get going now. But before I do, please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a very happy new year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.